In the mesmerizing coastal city of Adelaide, nestled in the heart of South Australia, a tale of courage and survival unfolded on the sun-soaked shores. It was August 5, 1989, a date etched into history as a local fisherman, Chris Jack, set out on a seemingly routine fishing expedition that would soon spiral into a life-and-death struggle against the ocean's apex predator. Adelaide, characterized by its stunning coastline and vibrant culture, served as the backdrop for Chris's maritime endeavors. With its golden beaches stretching along the azure waters of the Great Australian Bight, the city was a haven for fishing enthusiasts, drawn by the promise of bountiful catches and breathtaking scenery. Chris had spent years navigating these waters, forging an intimate connection with the sea that sustained him. On that fateful morning, a gentle breeze carried the salty tang of the ocean as Chris rose with the sun, fueled by a sense of anticipation that only a day at sea could ignite. He bid farewell to his family and set out from Glenelg, a coastal suburb known for its picturesque beaches and vibrant atmosphere. The city's skyline, a juxtaposition of modern architecture and historic charm, gradually faded from view as Chris ventured further into the boundless expanse. Chris's boat, a steadfast vessel christened Serenity, was his sanctuary and companion on countless maritime odysseys. The rhythmic lapping of waves against its hull provided a soothing cadence as he charted a course toward a favored fishing ground. The sun's gentle rays danced upon the water's surface, casting shimmering reflections that seemed to beckon him onward. As hours melted into one another, Chris cast his lines with a practiced grace, the promise of reeling in prized catches fueling his determination. The ocean responded to his unwavering resolve, yielding a bounteous harvest of fish that glinted with iridescent hues in the morning light. The rhythm of his labor was accompanied by the symphony of seagulls overhead, a harmonious dialogue between man and nature. However, the tranquil tableau would soon be shattered by an ominous undercurrent of unease. A series of unsettling events unfurled as the morning sun climbed higher, casting dappled shadows upon the water's surface. Chris's triumphant haul of fish was met with a chilling discovery, a disemboweled fish, a victim of relentless predation. An invisible shiver of unease coursed through him, a primal instinct alerting him to an unseen presence lurking beneath the waves. Despite his growing disquiet, Chris soldiered on, determined to heed the siren call of the sea. Anchoring at a favored location known for its abundant marine life, he cast his lines with the optimism that had always buoyed him. Time passed languidly, accompanied by the ebb and flow of the tides, as the tranquil waters held secrets known only to those who dared to venture. The idyllic tableau shifted abruptly as Chris's fishing lines tautened the telltale sign of a significant catch. Adrenaline surged through his veins as he began to reel in his prize, the anticipation lending a fevered intensity to his efforts. Yet, amid this battle, an eerie sensation prickled at the edges of his awareness, a visceral premonition of impending danger. A crescendo of tension gripped Chris as his prize neared the surface, an awe-inspiring mahi-mahi of considerable size. Triumph and unease commingled as the fish emerged, its body marred by a vicious assault. The stark evidence of predation echoed ominously, its implications impossible to ignore. Reality lurched, and time seemed to slow as a shadowy form materialized beneath the wounded fish, a manifestation of terror in its purest form. In an electrifying burst of motion, the ocean's behemoth surged from the depths, its colossal jaws gaping wide. Chris's world constricted to a heartbeat's cadence as he found himself ensnared within the jaws of the great white shark, a leviathan of unmatched power and primordial instinct. Pain seared through him as he was dragged beneath the surface, the sea's embrace turned treacherous. The shark's voracious hunger was sated with stunning swiftness, its predatory prowess rendering Chris's struggles futile. Time seemed to stretch into eternity as he grappled with the impossible, a battle against a force of nature that transcended his existence. Once his ally, the ocean had become his battleground, its cerulean depths transformed into a realm of unfathomable peril. The relentless onslaught of the shark persisted, its ferocity etched into Chris's memory as he fought valiantly against the inevitable. The sea, once a source of solace, had become an arena of life-or-death struggle, its vastness amplifying the intensity of his ordeal. 
the symphony of waves became a cacophony of desperation. A symphony of survival, played out in the face of nature's unyielding wrath. As consciousness waned and the boundaries of reality blurred, Chris's thoughts turned to his loved ones, his family, whose faces flickered like distant stars in the canvas of his memory. In those fleeting moments, he summoned a reservoir of strength, an inner resolve that defied the jaws of despair. With a final surge of defiance, he relinquished his struggle, succumbing to the abyssal depths. The ocean swallowed Chris Jack, an indomitable spirit consumed by the untamed realm he had loved and revered. The waves closed over the scene, erasing all traces of the tumultuous encounter. The city of Adelaide, with its picturesque shores and vibrant culture, remained oblivious to the heart-rending saga that had unfolded beneath its azure embrace. In the wake of tragedy, the sea reclaimed its serenity, its secrets concealed within the depths. Chris's legacy endured in the hearts of those who cherished his memory, a testament to the fragility of life and the enduring bond between man and nature. And as the waves whispered their eternal lullaby, the city of Adelaide continued to thrive, its sun-soaked beaches bearing witness to stories of triumph and tragedy upon the ever-changing canvas of the sea. Amid a scorching summer morning on July 20, 2006, the sun cast its radiant glow upon the coastal town of Santa Cruz, California. The azure expanse of the Pacific Ocean stretched out before the picturesque shoreline, a playground of endless possibilities. The rhythmic sound of crashing waves filled the air, a harmonious symphony of nature's grandeur. Amidst this breathtaking backdrop, a unique bond was about to unfold. Mia, a vibrant and spirited young woman, stood on the sandy beach, her gaze fixed on the horizon. Her eyes, a reflection of the cerulean waters, held a mixture of anticipation and determination. A marine biology student at the University of California, she was intimately acquainted with the ocean's mysteries and inhabitants. The allure of the sea had been ingrained in her since childhood, a passion nurtured by her father and mentor, Alex. Beside her stood Alex, a seasoned surfer who had once carved his legacy on the waves of Hawaii's North Shore. Time had etched its marks on his weathered features, but his spirit remained unwavering, a testament to his enduring love for the ocean. Now a marine conservationist, he found solace in imparting his wisdom to Mia, sharing a connection that transcended the mere blood ties of a father and daughter. Mia's fingers lovingly traced the curves of her surfboard, each contour a familiar friend that had carried her through countless waves. Adrenaline coursed through her veins as she fastened the leash securely to her ankle. Her heart mirrored the rhythmic cadence of the ocean, beating in sync with the waves that beckoned her. Alex's gaze lingered on Mia, a mixture of pride and nostalgia in his eyes. He understood the depths of her yearning to explore the ocean's wonders, a passion that mirrored his own youth. With a reassuring smile and a fatherly pat on her back, he silently conveyed his support for her upcoming adventure. As they prepared to face the waves, father and daughter shared a moment of unspoken understanding. The ocean had been their refuge, a canvas on which they had painted their memories. Today was no different, yet it held the promise of something extraordinary. This experience would forever alter the course of their lives. Little did they know that beyond the beauty and tranquility of the water's surface, an unforeseen test of courage awaited them. The ocean held awe-inspiring and perilous secrets as the sun's golden rays illuminated their journey. On this fateful day, the waters would unveil their unpredictable nature challenging Mia and Alex's unbreakable bond in ways they could never have imagined. As they walked towards the shoreline, the ocean's roar grew louder, the waves crashing with rhythmic intensity. Alex watched as Mia paddled out, her movements fluid and confident. He could still remember the first time he had taught her to surf, a mixture of pride and nostalgia welling within him. The competition began, and the sun reached its zenith, casting an iridescent sheen over the water. Mia's heart raced as she rode the waves, her skill and grace a testament to her years of dedication. The crowd cheered with every exhilarating maneuver, their enthusiasm fueling her determination. But the ocean, fickle and unpredictable, held secrets beneath its surface. A massive wave surged forward, lifting Mia's board and hurling her into the water. 
disoriented and submerged, she fought against the churning currents, struggling to find her bearings. Panic bubbled up within her as her surroundings blurred into a watery abyss. Then the world around her turned into a nightmare. A searing pain radiated through her leg, and her body jolted with a force that defied reason. The water, once a haven, transformed into a battleground as Mia realized the unimaginable. A shark was attacking her. Fear, primal and raw, gripped her heart as she grappled with the ferocity of the assault. The ocean's serenity had been shattered, replaced by a tumultuous struggle between life and death. As Mia fought to break free from the shark's jaws, the water churned with frenzied intensity. Her heart raced in tandem with the waves, a symphony of terror and survival echoing through her veins. On the shore, the crowd's jubilant cheers morphed into horrified gasps, their collective breath caught as the water around Mia darkened with her own blood, the crimson hue starkly contrasting with the azure backdrop. Panic surged like a tidal wave, rippling through the spectators as they grappled with the unthinkable scene. Alex's eyes widened in disbelief, and his heart plummeted as he comprehended the danger his daughter faced. The primal instinct of a parent ignited within him, overriding any rational thought. Time seemed to slow as he sprinted towards the water, his footsteps heavy against the sand, each beat of his heart echoing like a war drum. Adrenaline surged through his veins as he plunged into the water, his powerful strokes propelling him towards Mia. His eyes fixed on the scene of horror unfolding before him. The shark, a shadowy menace lurking beneath the surface, loomed ominously, its cold, lifeless eyes locked onto its prey. Alex lunged at the shark with a guttural cry that echoed over the waves, his fists becoming weapons of defense. His blows were fueled by a father's love and unyielding determination to protect his child from the jaws of death. Each punch reverberated through the water, a battle cry defying the laws of nature. The shark's response was swift and brutal. It thrashed with savage power, its muscular body propelled by millennia of predatory prowess. The water became a maelstrom of fury and desperation, a life and death struggle where the line between survival and oblivion blurred. Amidst the chaos, Mia fought with every ounce of strength she could muster. The pain in her leg was excruciating, and each movement was a testament to her fierce will to live. Her fingers clawed at the water, her lungs burned with the need for air, and her heart pounded in rhythm with the monstrous creature that sought to claim her. Alex's assault on the shark continued. He blew a symphony of defiance against nature's deadliest predator. The battle raged on, the water a tempestuous arena where human determination clashed with primal instinct. Each punch was a plea, a declaration that his daughter's life was worth any sacrifice. The lifeguards, alerted by the chaos and the primal roars that echoed over the waves, sped towards the scene on a rescue dinghy. The water churned as they maneuvered their vessel and their eyes locked onto the harrowing struggle unfolding before them. With practiced precision, they intervened, using specialized tools to pry the shark's jaws open and free Mia from its grip. As the dinghy raced towards the shore, Alex cradled Mia's battered form, his breaths ragged and his heart pounding. Her once vibrant spirit had been replaced by a fragile, wounded body. But she was alive. Tears mingled with the salt water on Alex's face as he held her close, a fervent whisper of gratitude escaping his lips. The hospital became a haven of activity, with doctors and nurses working with focused urgency to save Mia's life. Deep gashes marred her leg, the gruesome aftermath of her harrowing encounter. Surgery was a delicate ballet of medical expertise and advanced technology, as doctors labored to mend the physical wounds while the emotional scars ran deep. Mia's road to recovery was a grueling journey, marked by physical therapy and the gradual reclamation of her strength. The incident had left an indelible mark on her psyche, turning the sea from a sanctuary to a source of trepidation. But with support from her father and the global community behind her, she embarked on a journey of healing and resilience. As the years passed, the scars on Mia's leg slowly faded, a testament to her enduring strength. Her return to the water was a triumph over fear and trauma. Her courage resonated far beyond the shores of Santa Cruz, symbolizing the human spirit's ability to overcome even the most harrowing challenges. The waters that had once been a source of joy and wonder had transformed into a realm of danger and redemption. The legacy of that fateful summer day 
July 20, 2006, will forever remind Mia and Alex of the unbreakable bond between a father and his daughter. In the face of nature's fury, they stared into the abyss, emerging stronger, united by an unyielding love and a shared journey of survival. In the summer of 2012, the coastal waters of New Zealand became the setting for a fateful encounter that tested the bonds of friendship and resilience. Two adventurous souls, Tristan Hamilton and Liam Williams, were bonded by their love for the ocean. Spearfishing was their passion, and they often embarked on thrilling fishing expeditions together, relishing the thrill of the hunt and the satisfaction of grilling their catch. As they ventured to a renowned spearfishing spot, Tristan and Liam geared up with an assortment of equipment, including wetsuits, spear guns, diving knives, and floats. The azure waters glittered enticingly, inviting them to delve into the mysteries beneath. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Tristan donned his gear with a sense of excitement matched only by his fascination for the teeming marine life beneath the waves. With spear in hand, Tristan's mastery was on full display as he artfully targeted and captured a parrotfish. His movements a graceful dance of skill and precision. Liam, positioned it on the surface, watched Inawe as Tristan's float began to fill with an impressive array of catches. Impictient but inspired, Liam awaited his turn, his heart pounding with the anticipation of matching his friend's achievements. However, a palpable tension began to creep into the air as Liam's turn approached. Tristan was due to resurface, but the water remained unsettlingly still. Dread knotted in Liam's stomach as time passed while the waters remained eerily undisturbed. Abruptly, a blood-curdling scream pierced the silence. Tristan's head broke the surface, his arm a gory mess torn and mutilated by the ferocity of a great white shark's relentless assault. Shock and horror washed over Liam as Tristan recounted the hesitation. Liam's heart pounded with dread and determination as he leaped into action, plunging into the water with every ounce of strength he possessed. The two friends shared an unspoken bond, a fierce loyalty that transcended the looming threat of death. They were united by an unwavering resolve to confront the beast that had cast its malevolent shadow over their tranquil haven. The underwater realm became an arena of chaos and terror as the Great White circled its prey, each darting movement a chilling reminder of its deadly intent. Tristan's body trembled with pain and fear, yet his hands remained steady as he aimed his spear gun at the monster's onyx eye. Time seemed to slow to a crawl as he squeezed the trigger, the echoing thunder of the shot reverberating through the water. The shark's agonized roar filled the water, a haunting symphony of rage and anguish vibrating through their souls. But the creature's resilience was unyielding, its gnashing jaws were just inches away from Tristan's fragile body. Liam's heart raced as he maneuvered to strike a final blow, his spear gun finding its mark on the shark's underbelly beneath the lethal jaws that threatened to consume them both. With an anguished convulsion, the Great White's grip loosened, its maw snapping shut in a final act of defiance before it retreated into the depths. Tristan's body was pulled to the surface, battered and broken, his arm mutilated and barely recognizable. Liam summoned every ounce of strength to haul his friend onto their speedboat. Their gaze is locked, a silent exchange of camaraderie and victorious defiance amidst the chaos and fear that engulfed them. As the speedboat raced towards the shore, the weight of the encounter settled upon them like a suffocating shroud. Tristan's severed arm hung limp and lifeless, a gruesome testament to the brutal toll exacted by their devotion to the sea. The journey to the hospital was a blur of pain and surreal disbelief, the reality of their harrowing experience intertwining with the raw agony of Tristan's injuries. Upon arriving at the hospital, a whirlwind of medical personnel and equipment greeted them. Doctors and nurses sprang into action, their urgent movements a stark contrast to the peaceful serenity of the ocean they had left behind. Tristan's wounded arm required immediate attention. The room buzzed with a sense of urgency as they worked tirelessly to stabilize him, their efforts fueled by the knowledge that every passing moment was crucial. Surgery became a daunting necessity, a grueling battle to save Tristan's life. Hours stretched into an agonizing eternity as skilled surgeons meticulously worked to repair the damage, their dedication unwavering in the face of the daunting task. 
When Tristan emerged from the operating room, his arm was forever changed, held together by the intricate tapestry of modern medicine. The road to recovery was arduous, each day marked by excruciating physical therapy sessions and the haunting memories of that fateful day. The loss of his arm was a constant reminder of the formidable power that lurked beneath the waves. Yet Tristan's spirit remained unbroken, his determination burning brighter. With support from Liam and a network of loved ones, he embarked on a journey of rehabilitation that tested his limits and showcased his remarkable resilience. Tristan's courage and strength inspired those around him and countless others who heard his story. He became a living testament to the human capacity to triumph over adversity. Despite the emotional scars that forever marked their memories, Tristan and Liam's friendship grew stronger, a bond forged in the crucible of terror and survival. The once idyllic coastal waters of Santa Cruz were forever transformed into a battleground where Tristan and Liam faced their deepest fears and emerged as victors. The merciless power of nature had left an indelible mark on their lives, shaping their perspectives and reminding them of the fragility of life. Yet, their unyielding friendship and unwavering spirit ultimately defined their triumph, proving that even in the face of the most unimaginable horrors, the human spirit could soar above the waves and find solace in the strength of unity.